Crazy Boy here today. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up an SD card to use on a Raspberry Pi to run hoobs. And we're going to format it and set it up using a Mac. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how. Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up hoobs on a Raspberry Pi using one of those little micro SD cards that go in there. So, this is an old Raspberry Pi. You guys probably remember it's from some of my other videos if you're a follower. But today, I wanted to show you how to format a card. And I've done this before, but I just wanna show you how to format it for hoobs. If you go to hoobs.org, you can download the hoobs application. It's only five bucks, guys. It really helps the small team of individuals that are working really hard to make home bridge easy and they really do and this is why I'm showing you how to format it because I really like the fact that they're making it so easy I really enjoy this they're not paying me I just really enjoy their product and their software a while back they sent me a hoops out of the box to try out and you can see that video here and I wasn't really excited about it I was like oh great another UI or a GUI to use home bridge this thing is incredible I've been using it for over two months now and I truly truly love it it's so much easier the web interface and like I said go back and look at that video the web interface is so much easier getting to terminal so much easier logging into the pie so much easier it just makes it dumb dumb proof and I truly truly love what they're doing there what is hoops it's home bridge to link your devices to home kit if you have an iPhone you notice that little icon with the house and you can go in there well if you have a lot of smart devices they're not gonna be compatible with home kit especially like TP link and other devices and I've gotten quite a few devices devices hooked up through hoops and I'll put that up right up on the screen right there for you so you guys can see those are the devices I got working if you want to leave a comment down below and I'll do a tutorial on how to set one of them up now what you're going to need to set up your SD card now this is a normal size SD card the old Raspberry Pi the one I'm working with today actually takes this size but most of them take the micro SD card right there and this is a device to put your micro SD card in to make it go into a regular SD card reader. You might want to pick up one of these. They usually come with one of these. If they don't, there's two options. Well, there's several options. There's one that goes on your desktop, which I'll show you a picture right here. And there is this one, which turns into a bigger SD card or a standard size SD card. And then they got the USB version. This is a little USB that plugs into your computer and you just take the SD card out. It slides right in here and bam, there you go. All right, so now you have that plugged into your computer. Let's go over to the computer and I will show you on a Mac today how to set this up so you can write it to your SD card. So here we are on the desktop. This is the website hoobs.org right up here. You can see the website. We'll scroll down. Hey, look who that is. Hey, if you scroll down to download, it does say free, but they ask for a donation of $5. Don't be cheap people. Like seriously, think about all the money we spend on technology. Help out this small group of people that work really hard. Can you, can you really look at these people's faces and not give them some money? I mean, come on. Once you download that file, which is right here, it is an image file, so it's a ready to go. You might have to unzip it. I don't remember if I unzipped it or not, but this is the image file. Here is the code we're going to use for terminal. So the first thing that we have to do is get this code and I will have it listed down below so you guys can copy and paste this code in. And the first thing we need to figure out is what your computer name is what you want to do is go to finder and click right here with the house it actually shows what the name of this computer is and apparently I do not know how to use capitalization or spaces or maybe you couldn't space it anyway that's the name of the computer and it'll have a little house next to it and that's how you figure out what the name of your computer is so we will write that in right where it says your computer we'll put that right here that's what it's gonna be now we need the file name so this this is the file name right here and leave it on your desktop because that's where this is all rooted to. So we're going to be do sudo and then it's going to be user, the name of the computer, the desktop and then the file name. So make sure you have the file name right here. So we're going to copy the full extension of the file name with the dot mg. I'm going to put that right in here and we're going to put boom. There we go. So then the next thing we have to do to make this work, and this is a critical information, we have to figure out which disk it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the search bar and we're gonna put in disk utility and it shows up right there. We're gonna open that up. 
this tells you everything and right now it's labeled boot and it might be something else for you but we have to figure out which drive this is and I have multiple things hooked up to this and we don't want to mess up anything so you want to make sure that you a disconnect everything if you're not sure like my YouTube backup hard drive if I reformatted that that would be really really catastrophic for my channel so it looks like this device if we click on it here looks like it's disk 4 yep right there see it says disk 4 s1 ignore that it's this one right here because that's what the name of it is and it is disk 4 so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna leave everything else alone and we're gonna just put a 4 and then what we want to do is click on the mine says boot because I made this another home bridge product so it's just names it boot just ignore that part what we're gonna do is go up here and we're gonna unmount it and now that it's unmounted we're gonna close out of this we're gonna copy this right here and we're gonna go into terminal click on that go right here hit control V hit enter enter your computer's password you should know your computer's password it's the one you use to log in okay I don't know why I'd ask that now. And now we play the waiting game. I'm actually gonna stop the video and show you what it looks like once it's done. Okay, so we're back. You don't see anything. It took about five minutes and this is what it says. It says records ends and records out and it tells you that something happened. So don't be alarmed. You're gonna see a blank screen for probably a good five minutes depending on the speed of your computer. Just give it a minute and don't close the window. Wait for it to be done and here it does. It shows up actually on the desktop and we could see that all the files are in there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this we're gonna eject it okay so from this point what we're gonna do is remove the SD card we're gonna stick it in the Raspberry Pi like so remember mine is an older one so that's why it's taking the bigger disk we're gonna connect it to Ethernet and then we're gonna connect the power. And now we're gonna let that sit there and wait for about two minutes. Right, we'll go to hoobs.local, refresh that, and you should see this come up. It's a startup screen. It says Hoobs Home homebridge out of the box system starting we're gonna wait for that to start all right so here we are it this one is a Raspberry Pi like one so it took probably a good five minutes for this to start so if you're running like a Raspberry Pi zero or original Raspberry Pi it's gonna take some time so now we have to log in the username is admin and admin all right, and there you are. You have everything you need right here. There is an update, which you can update this. You can click on it and update it. But right now, what you want to do is put in this code. So we're going to open up HomeKit, and then we're going to hit on the plus symbol up at the top right-hand corner. We're going to go to Add Accessory, and we're going to take a screenshot. Okay, unverified. Continue. Add anyway. And we're gonna add that in anyway. Hoobs has been added. Additional setup required. Hit done. And if we go into hubs, we don't have any plugins in yet. We got Hoobs 2. That's the hub right there. All right, so that is done. We got that all set up and ready to go. Now you just have to go in. And another reason why I like this so much is look where your plugins are. You could just type them in right here and find your plugins which is really nice and then you can install them right from here and then your config files right here you can back up restore and save so easy your accessories show up here when you have some you could view the log file and see what's going on you can view user accounts this is where you'd add a user account I'd highly recommend that you add a new one and then you delete the old one so we're not gonna do that you could restart it right here you could log out which you don't want to do another cool thing I just want to show you guys real quick terminal Terminal is right here. You can go in here and start doing whatever you want. See? And we can get into home bridge and get into the nitty gritty if you are into that. So that's basically how you set it up. And like I said, take a look at my hoops video if you want to see more of it in action. This was mainly for you guys to see how I set it up and how I got things going on a Mac.
so that way you can move forward and it's a really great product like I said guys I think it's five bucks it's a donation totally do it from five bucks guys what does it really matter I mean help them out give them a little motivation I know when you guys like and subscribe to me it gives me so much motivation so help them out keep their project alive because I truly enjoy it and for you PC people please don't worry next week I'm gonna show you how to do it on a PC we're gonna get that tutorial out of the way as well so that way everybody can get hooves up and running that's it for me guys make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way and remember you can do anything if you put your mind to it later guys I think I hit the camera yeah I did damn it should never do what I'm doing yeah you don't use your t-shirt on a lens you're still here you haven't clicked on all these videos that I made or better yet like button or even better subscribe button just putting it out there